Yo, what's going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back for the OPTC video, and in today's video, it is day four of the grandest party of them all. Trying to get the 12 wins with the new Olin Odian Big Mom Super Sugo. Grand party has evolved, man. It's definitely evolved, and Roger is just not the only unit to be running. However, Gear 5 seems to be everyone's go-to. And look, it's understandable. Gear 5 is so damn good. However, with the release of Kid Law and Big Mom, we have two very good Grand Party leaders that have hit the wave. And now that we're at the back end, we can try some of the fun stuff and utilize some of these characters. We did Kid Law in uh, the last day's Grand Party, and now we're going to be using uh, Big Mom in today's Grand Party. And i got to say, I'm a big fan of this unit. I think she's fantastic. As you can see under her artwork on the left-hand side of the screen, those are the teams that we're going to be using. And... We're most likely going to be versing Gear 5. So I have built an anti psi team that we're going to put up against Gear 5 whenever we see it. And you guys will see what I mean when we actually do something like that. Hopefully, we can get to the 12 wins today. If we don't, we don't. We do, we do. And then we can just test out our luck tomorrow. But if you enjoy the video, bell like button, hit the subscribe button, do all that good stuff for me. Let me know how you guys are going in the comment section below. With that said, let's dive into some fights. All right, Gear 5, number one. Um, their first team is a Dex built team. No Big Mom. I always love to see no Big Mom on a Dex built team. And then we have Psy as the second fight. That's where we're going to put our uh, anti Psy. There is no Wano Law as well, which makes it lots of fun. Uh, what we're actually going to do is we're going to bring Strikers in the front and use Dex at the back. I thoroughly dislike running mirror matches. I, I, I said it yesterday. Even though a Dex team with Big Mom is better than a Dex team without Big Mom, I just, I don't like running mirror matches. They end up being a slog fest. It comes down to too much RNG. And honestly, I, I do believe that we're going to be in a very good position with our striker team to actually take down um, what's um, cooking with, with Dex. I did put Marigold on this particular team though, because she's a striker. So I figured when she comes in, she's buffed by the striker buffs and stuff like Kanjuro, Sasaki. Um, Roger and Wipe, don't buff striker, but like you guys get what I'm saying. Um, but you can definitely use Sandersonia like I have on the image down below. This particular strike team does exceptionally well for Gear 5 because it outputs a lot of damage very quickly with stuff like Jack, with stuff like Roger and Whitebeard. Unfortunately, they just attacked right before their special went, which is really bad timing for us. Really, really bad timing. But the upside to Big Mom with her burst is she's actually going to activate after using 5 specials. And after using 5 specials is very easy to do. Unlike Kid Law where you need to take 5 specials, you just need to deal out five specials which like i said it's very easy to do because you can sort of manipulate that in a way of okay i want my specials to be going off with ct reducing units and fast characters like side teams or whatever and actually make it happen rather than rely on the enemy to actually attack you this obviously um doesn't mean that you don't take as much damage as well and you're not going to be having to deal with a lot of um annoying shenaniganry as well so as you can see the way that i like to run big mom is um we can guarantee basically guarantee ourselves the the win after we could get the burst, we can actually use the burst, basically take out the scraps. Big Mom does, um, well, it didn't do as much damage as I was hoping. Big, Big Mom actually um, applies half stats with her burst in the first 30 seconds. But the idea is to get enough damage out early, especially with strikers. So that way the burst will like clean up scraps or put the enemy in a very good, uh, put us in a very good position to take down the enemy with our next round of specials, building back our burst and then hopefully taking them out then. Um... The Doflamingo being in is actually quite scary, though. He does have a special. But with us, we still have our full bench sitting there. So if he does pick off something like Tesoro and Kanjuro, which he definitely did, we have Luffy Yamato coming in with uh, Marigold, which means we are going to be in a really, really good spot once that Luffy Yamato special does eventually go off. Now that Dofi's actually gone, we don't have to worry about Dofi taking out something like Roger and Whitebeard, Dofi taking out something like Luffy Yamato, um, and we're going to be in a really, really good spot here. So Roger and Whitebeard are definitely going to kill two more units here. See you later. We'd love to see that. Um, I'd love Marigold to go before Luffy Yamato. Uh, awesome. That means Jack's going to go as well. And that way, we'll definitely have our special ready to go. Or our burst, I should say, ready for the next fight. Now, I didn't need to use my burst. Um, not, not at all. The enemy doesn't actually have their burst. They do now. Um, but I, I definitely didn't have to use my burst. Um, but the idea with using Big Mom is to activate that burst. And that, that way, I don't have to worry about it. Um, and ideally taking out the enemy before they can. So, strikers are very good, but sometimes they do lack a little bit of damage later down the line. Um, and that Big Mom burst didn't really do as much as I was hoping it to do. But the upside now is we have that burst ready to go for when we're versing Psy. Now, we are definitely taking a, a burst straight off the bat here. Um, but there is no one of law, so we're going to go a lot faster. Plus, 
the ID now is to utilize Big Mom's Burst in the first 25 seconds. You can pretty much sack your um, your first fight if you like. That way you've got the burst ready to go. Um, but once the 25 second mark hits, we are going to activate our burst. This is going to do so much damage. Yeah, like taking out like half our HP right off rip uh, is so, so powerful. Um, but now they can't wipe the half stats that Big Mom's, Big Mom's going to apply. Um, like I said, I sort of just wait until the 25 second mark. With the amount of cooldown reduction, level 12 we're throwing at the enemy, which is ridiculous, by the way. Um, actually ridiculous. I like to sort of just wait. Wait for that 75 second mark. Use the burst. I go 75 seconds to give myself a little couple seconds leeway. That way we do a butt ton of damage. We throw out all the half stats for the next 15 seconds, I believe. Um, and now, all of our specials are going to be hitting incredibly hard. Plus, if the enemy does use a special, like Rebecca Toy Soldier is about to, it means we're going to be taking a lot less damage because we've just half stats. And um, that just allows us to tank a lot better. Now your rogue's going to hit all side characters, do a lot of damage with his special. Beautiful. Didn't kill Yamato, which is kind of a shame. Uh, Yamato doesn't even have a special ready to go. If Wanda Law was on the field, um, I believe that they would have the special, um, which can be quite, quite scary for us. But again, having the half stats available and meaning that Yamato does, just doesn't hit that hard, we are just going to be like in a, in a much better spot. Now, um, now that we've taken out pretty much the entire team, we do have to worry about Gear 5 and his special. Um, Law should take out Conus here, but that's okay because we have stuff like Smoker and the Giants on the bench. They're a very, very strong bench. Um, so even if we do lose a couple units, we'll probably lose a poo here. Yep. And, okay, Smoker tanked that. You'll love to see that. Even if we do lose a couple units, we have a really good backlog coming in to sort of help us out. And like I said, um, that first fight, honestly, probably shouldn't use the burst just to be a little bit more safe. And moving forward, I might look into that. Uh, but depending on what happens in the first fight uh, and what you come up against is more dependent on what you'll actually, uh, how you use the burst. Dex is so tanky that utilizing Big Mom's burst probably isn't the way to go. Um, so we'll have to see what we do in the next couple fights. Um, but for, for now, we're, we're just in, we're in such a good spot today. I just like clutch this one out. Even if Wipe It's special went then, we would have just still would have won, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, let's just skip the rest of this fight. Let's not bore you guys anymore. Even though it was pretty much over anyway. And uh, we'll move on to the second fight. Let's see if we can find another Gear 5 build. I, I honestly, I'm very confident using Big Mom. 241 con combat power. I have a lot of faith in Big Mom teams. All right, so there's just gear fives everywhere as predicted. Um, the, I chose the first team because it is a freak spirit team with Otama and Kinemon Denjiro. Not exactly anything too crash hot. Um, we are going to be using our Dex team up the front because I did want to showcase how powerful Big Mum is as a PvP unit underneath her own team in Grand Party. Plus, when you have your leader present, slashes actually get nerfed. So level six defense to both Kinemon Denjiro as well as. Um, Zoro is absolutely huge. Plus, Doflamingo has the ability to nerf free spirit characters. So bringing him into the front lines is so powerful for this team because it's all driven. So, well, besides Pell, uh, Blackbeard, uh, Big Mom, then the bench being uh, Blue Jam and Fuji works so nicely. So not only is uh, Dofi giving us the dex buff, but he's also giving driven buffs to both Blackbeard and to Big Mom. I always like to put Luffy in the middle. Luffy does have a revive mechanic. That's what makes him so valuable. But I always like putting him in the middle. That is so much damage, Luffy. That was that was just too much damage, bro. Like, too much damage. Holy shit. Holy crap. Luffy Yamato just got eaten, bro. Holy moly. I always like um, putting Luffy in the middle because he takes a lot of damage and then you can get the 100% cooldowns. Uh, it just works exceptionally well for stuff like um, Blackbeard to just do more HP cuts. Big Mom with her half stats is just nuts. Um, and you can just do some really, really cool stuff there. So, taking out Luffy Yamato is massive. Like, now we just... I'm just not scared at all. Like, there's there's nothing really threatening on their team for damage output. What's their bench? Yeah, their bench is, their bench is annoying, but it's not bad. Uh, I just think at this point, we, we just got so much tanking behind us that we don't have to worry about um, the opposition. And we'll just be fine from here. The upside to Big Mom too is I've found that if you run decks in the front... And then you run um, like an anti site or anti site and Dex. Like, you don't even need to use the burst turn one because the amount of tanking that the Dex team has is just wild. And now they have access to half stats, which means they're going to do a lot of damage. They do a lot of damage output, especially when Doflamingo goes in the back end of the fight. So, they've. Free Spirits now has built up enough um, defense to sort of start tanking. However, we're just in a really good spot to actually just make sure that we tank enough damage now. The counter of Zora 2, by the way, I believe does not go into Gear 5's counter. 
Uh, I believe that it does not. Uh, but look, correct me in the comment section below if I'm wrong on that one. Uh, I, I'd love to know. Because if it does, it would just be it'd be so, so good. Kingdom One Dendro is going to get some healing up. Um, Sanji's just popping specials off left, right, and center now, giving everyone cooldowns. Basically allowing Kingdom One Dendro and Otama to just keep everyone alive. But we're at a point, because we killed Luffy Yamato early, um, we actually don't have to worry about damage output, which is kind of nuts to think about. All right, some fixed damage there. Santa Sonia's probably going to have a special. Yeah, she does. And then I'm just hoping everyone sort of groups together for Big Mom. Even with this heal from Otama, I believe Big Mom probably is just going to wipe. If Big Mom can hit everyone here right on 30 seconds. Yeah, nice. Good damage. Taking out Zora as well. Zora's revive already procced, which is huge for us. I'm just going to hang on to the burst, by the way. Um, I, I don't think we need the burst for this fight at all. Um, they're not doing enough damage for us to be scared about... Um, back-ended specials to build up Gear 5's burst to a point where it's going to be scary for the next fight. So, the fight might go down to the wire unless Doflamingo has something to say about that. Uh, but, we'll definitely have the half stats. Ah, uh, look, Pell had something to say about that. That's fine. Okay. Well, now you're definitely not doing damage. Cool. Sweet. Well, see a lot of free spirits. Dex against free spirits is just so good right now. Um, it's, it's a product of the rule set because Dex have a lot of powerhouse driven. But at the same time, with Doflamingo now, like, it just works so damn well. So, once again, we are over here against a Psy build. Um, I don't know what this Psy build looks like, because it was hidden. No Wano lore again. Love to see that for me. Um, level 14 cooldown reduction. Nerfing their cooldowns by level 14 in the red. We are at level... What level are we at? Six? Level six on Moria. Yeah. So, Lore and Kid actually give more cooldowns. Uh, they're on level 12 reduction. So, again, once we hit that, um, that what, what's it called? The, the 25 second or 75 second mark. That's basically when we're going to pop this. There we go. We use that Big Mom Burst. And now we've got our specials ready to go once again. Um, and once we start using them with stuff like Konus. And basically, once everyone's specials gone, we'll have our burst ready to go. Can we special bind Yamato? Oh, special binding Yamato is just GG. It's GG for a side team if Yamato gets special binded. Especially under gear 5. Because the idea of gear 5 is they want to do damage. <laughs> yeah, Enel's dead. See you later. Well, we'll take this because of the half stats. It's going to do absolute peanuts. Um, they're going to get some... Um, so Yamato wouldn't have even gone even if she had her special ready. More half stats. I, I believe that just extends the half stats, which is always nice. And now we've got our burst ready to go once again. And if, we, if it was the first 30 seconds, we could definitely use this um, to win. We don't need to do this. I'm getting really cocky here. Uh, but I just want to kill Gear 5. If Gear 5 dies, it's 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 a wrap. The Big Mom, even without the half stats, still does so much damage that you can just board wipe, especially easily getting two specials if the Psy team is the second fight. And like I said, you see Gear 5 second, you can bet your ass it's going to be a Psy fight. Onto the final fight now. That was 239k as well. That was a, bi that was a big boy team. That were big boy teams. All right, the final Gear 5 fight. I don't stereotypically like using this particular setup against the end fight. Um, unfortunately, there was no front Gear 5 fights. But because I can still see the first team, I did see this. And look, it doesn't scare me all that much because of Vivi's there. Um, look, I might not... Like, there might be something there that I don't know because they're just trying to use HP cuts to their advantage. Um, but I'm not overly terrified by what's rocking in the front. If I saw this, though, I could easily just swap out some units... Um, bring a bit more quick on my team and sort of go from there. Um, but what we're going to do here is we're going to rock our Dex team in the front and then we're going to use Strike as second because if the second team is Dex and I'm going Dex versus Dex, I'm just I'm not going to be here for it. I'm not I'm not going to be happy about it. Um, but utilizing Big Mom, even though we are using Dex against Strength, there's no like anti Dex units that are running around like Kaido um, or uh, X Drake. Kaku on the bench kind of scares me a little bit. Um, and obviously with the HP cuts of Whitebeard and Jack allowing the burst to go up nice and quickly. But I do think if we can get Big Mom to go off early, we are going to be in a really good spot to actually take down some of these units. Plus, Dofi, yeah, so Whitebeard doing this HP cut, like that HP cut right there, basically fully charges Gear 5. Like, it just, it's disgusting how much charge that gives to Gear 5. The special bind, though, that's interesting tactics. Interesting tactics. Big Mom would have gone right there, but the special bind actually cucked me. Now, is that going to get... Uh, it gets him very close. Tesoro's fixed damage is going to basically... Yeah, see, there's basically a HP cutting fixed damage team. 
which is very scary, but it's nothing like terrifying. The only downside is the um, now that the enemy's burst is basically fully charged, and if they pop that burst, with, like I said at the start, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a wrap. Uh, unfortunately, we cop that special bind from Big Mom. All right, give this to Doflamingo. I do want some damage output. Okay, Blackbeard actually is actually probably better, but Doflamingo was just literally going second. That's why I wanted. Um, that's why I wanted Doflamingo. All right, Big Mom is gonna go. She's gonna please hit someone that's just not that. But look, let's let's pop this. I do think this is gonna help us win this fight. They popped theirs. Interesting. They popped theirs. I used mine thinking, oh yeah, that's fine. Man, if I waited like two seconds and saw that they used theirs, I probably wouldn't have used mine. However, it did bring us back down to a 4v4. Big Mom did take the revive, which is best case scenario for us. And now, um, oh, Doflamingo actually probably would have been best case scenario. But now we have Fuji come in and we have um, Blue Jam. The, just that King special kind of scares me a little bit, but he's now dead. That's fine. Sweet. Fuji actually does a lot of damage, and lighting him on the bench in this more driven sort of dex-centric makeup is so freaking strong, man. It's so strong. Dalton going there kind of sucks, so I wanted his special to go off. Um, don't kill. I, I didn't need a special. Dalton, go. Beautiful. All right, we'd love to see this. Beautiful stuff. I do want to save a burst for the final fight. I, I do think having a burst against Sai will basically guarantee me the win. However, we'll have to wait and see what's coming as the second fight. I do think it'll be dex. I do think, it, yeah, it's a dex fight. With Mihawk, again, more HP cutting units. These guys, these guys in their HP cutting tactics, man. I don't like it. I really don't like HP cutting tactics. If you are running gear 5 with HP cutting tactics, you just go look at yourself in the mirror. Like, honestly, go check yourself because it's not fun. No one likes it. Stop doing it. It's it's not a good time. Plus, utilizing Donjin Jiao. What, you may as well put him in the front? You're so goddamn toxic, man. This guy's toxic. Anyone knows this guy, message him and tell him he's toxic. Like, like... 16 seconds in and using HP cuts. Like, come on, bro. Really? Like, get out of my face with that stuff. I don't love the striker team under Big Mom, by the way, but it's the best thing you can be running because it has a lot of driven units. Yeah, knock you back. Punk Gibson, that's fine. Oh, man, that's just really bad timing, man. If Roger wipe it, go, it's just a wrap. Like, you're just going to kill two units. However... I would love to take out Mihawk because he's just doing this stupid... Like the, the more time goes on, the more HP cuts he does. And um, it's very, very annoying building up that Gear 5 charge. Because you bet your ass, as soon as Gear, gear 5 is maxed, it's it, he's going to go. Doflamingo shouldn't do that much damage here. Oh my god, he's so close. Roger Wipeit has to go. I need Roger Wipeit to go. Luffy don't have a special. I'm hoping Luffy, just Luffy's normal attack, doesn't charge um, the, the thing enough. Yes, beautiful, cool. All right, now his special can go because I've actually built that. You know what? I, I changed my mind. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this because I do believe this is actually gonna like. Oh my god, the peanut damage! I forgot. I forgot it's affected. No, I totally forgot. Oh, I actually already did this. I already did it in the first fight, and I didn't learn. Why am I like this? Oh my god, make fun of me in the chat because I deserve it. Oh, don't don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay, now the burst is gonna kill him. Shit. Why am I like this, chat? Why was I like this? Why was I like this? I knew that this was going to happen, and I said it, and I did it anyway. Fuck! I need a special to go off. I need my specials. Oh, no. I blundered so hard. I'm so stressed now. I should not have done that. I'm an idiot. Luke is going to charge specials, too. Dofi's gonna go. Dofi, don't kill me, bro. Please. Please. No, Dofi. Okay, King. King, survive, 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 survive. Please, please, please. King, 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 King. King's not gonna kill everyone, but... Oh my god, he did. Oh my god, he did. <laughs> the bench, no. <sighs> I'm such an idiot. I don't know why I used that burst, man. I just don't know why I used that burst. I'm such an idiot. I'm actually such an idiot. There's no law on this team as well. And I would have guaranteed myself the win with that burst. I'm such a stupid fool. I'm actually so mad at myself. Why don't I take my own advice? All right, we're just praying now. 
Honestly, we're just praying. Big Mom does a double buff to Dex units, and then she buffs um, Driven. The rule set's buffing our entire team, which is great. Mori is going to apply half stats, which is awesome. Um, which I really need Conus to special blind Yamato. And I really need um, half stats to hit stuff like um, Odin. Come on, Conus, please. Do me a solid. Okay, you hit, you hit Alkaji, which is kind of fine. Please. Okay, Yamato did take the half stats, which means we're going to take a lot less damage. I think Odin did too. Now, I'm actually so disappointed in myself. I, I had a, a, a full tactic, and I just threw it out the goddamn window. I'm actually so upset with myself. And honestly, if I, t if I lose, I deserve it. Apu dying there is actually so friggin' annoying. Apu is such a good damage dealer for our team. Um, and now Odin Odin should honestly just wipe us. And it's gonna it's terrifying. Don't do it, Odin, please. Okay. Kuzan now goes. We lose Katakuri. I'm so upset with myself. I'm so I'm actually so upset with myself, man. I'm actually so upset. Well, I'm an idiot. I, I have no one else to blame but myself uh, in that moment. So, look, it is what it is. Uh, unfortunately, we're not going to get the 15 wins because I'm, an, I'm a giant spoon. But, look, it, like I said, it is what it is. But hopefully you guys do better than I do uh, and not be an idiot with your bursts. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, bell like button, hit the subscribe button. Most importantly, wherever you guys are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Later!